This is really weird how uh, Burns act. I guess the whole world seems pretty fake right now. But um, see those white, that white spot right there and that white spot right there? I grabbed something that was very hot. And those technically, um, I guess, would be blisters on some people. But what I do is I instantly grab something cold, run my fingers under cold water. And hold on to an ice cube. God, I burnt my hand like severely bad. I grabbed something metal that was really hot. Like I grabbed it. And then it took a, about four seconds for me to throw that across the room. Um, so, you know, I kind of, my hand was like kind of like burnt into position for a minute. But it still compared to the damage that should have happened. It did not compared to most of my burns. I'm not, you know, like, uh, the, I'm assuming it's got to do with the whole fakeness of everything going on. But, um, like, uh, those should have been blisters, right? And technically, like, right now, if I let them cool off, they start to burn again. As if they're still, like, trying to progress into blisters or something. Generally, I have to hold on to ice for, like, four hours or keep my hand in cold water for four hours for the for it to go away and stuff and I've actually not like experienced what happens if I do that if I get like no damage at all but there's like very little damage there and in fact you know when I'm grabbing the ice right now my feeling in those areas is coming back as well it's so weird it's like it's it's almost like it's healing me or preventing it from happening obviously it's prevented it from happening because they're not blisters and stuff and, uh, I mean, literally what I did is I grabbed one of these, like, to see if it was hot. I was like, ah, <laughs> it was like, something's burning in the kitchen. What the hell is it? And I was like, oh, it's that. Okay, time to get to ice now. And that was like a while ago. So those blisters haven't formed, but they should have, right? Because that wasn't exactly cold when I touched it. And it still doesn't feel cold, like, if I let the ice off of it. it but the thing is, is, like, uh, I notice, you know, compared to previous burns I've had and stuff that, um, yeah, there's just some weird thing happening here, and it doesn't feel very reality-based. I mean, the whole world doesn't to me at this point, but um, it just seems that uh, something about um, if you, like, introduce uh, extreme temperature to your body, and if you, uh, you know, it's, like, supposed to burn up, but if you introduce coolness right directly afterwards, it, like, somehow negates the burning and your body is no longer torched or inflamed or something. I don't know exactly. I know generally I can just, I, I play with fire. You know, I can run fire over my hand. I can touch stuff. If that's on, if that's on, I can just be like, pop, 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 and drum on it. And pretty much nothing happened. But, you know, like when you grab something and you don't realize it's hot, like, and you're like, man, try to pick it up. It's a little bit different. But it, uh, it, it acts very fake and stuff, how this can heal. It's like an illusion or something going on here. But uh, hey, like it works. I mean, that, they use burn gel to put on your burns, right? But burn gel is expensive, so I'd rather just grab some ice from the frickin' fridge. Plus, I don't have my old medical kit, so I don't have burn gel anyways. But, I mean, you could probably just use, like, you know, any sort of gel lubricant or something you have. But, um, you know, I'm going for the call. I'm trying to, like, reverse what happened. I notice I can do that with food, too. Like, if I, if I ever cook something, like, that's why I keep water bottles in my kitchen. Um, because if I, uh, first of all, like, uh, I try to rehydrate certain things when I'm recooking them. But if I burn something, too, I can spray that on it. And um, when you burn something, you're reducing it to carbon, and you're taking all the other molecules out of it, including the water. So I just assume right away that can fix things. And then, yes, in cooking, that is my best tool, is um, the, uh, the water tool. But it, it seems so fake, just like the rest of everything going on. It seems so fake at the end of the day. It's like, how does that even happen? Like, shouldn't have I, like, been burnt and stuff? Like, shouldn't have that done something more than nothing or just produce little white things? And why is it that, uh, 
when I take the coolness away, it starts to go a little bit numb. But, you know, the ice should, like, numb it, you know? Like, generally you use ice to numb things. But putting the ice on this, it, like, restores the, the feeling to that area. It's very odd. Very fake. Kind of like everything else I've been seeing in this world. Who knows? Maybe I just invented it. But it works.